When you play the cello, if you treat your fingers of the left hand as what would have been your feet if you walk, or if you run, or if you jump, and if you think of it as those are five feet, I call it the, the cello spider. You know, you can walk on the cello like a spider, yeah? Yeah. I want to explain to you a little bit what would a human, forget about now cello, a human do as a human walk. You know, if I walk forward, I always lift my feet up, then I put it down. And then I lift the previous foot. I don't keep it down. And then I go on. So I don't walk like this on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless it's a dark room and I just, I don't know where I am. But if I know where I am, I will always lift and then lift the previous one. So yeah. when we walk on the cello upwards, we always lift before we put it down. Now, when I say lift or whatever I will tell you now, it's all within what I call within a binocular shape. So we don't want to lift too much yeah. or to do any motion that will make us unhuman. Or if we are the cello spider, we don't want to walk like this because somebody will catch us and eat us. Yeah, we just want to walk like this. But the way we activate the feet is important. So when we go up, let's say we go from E to F. F sharp. So if I go upward, I will always lift the finger before I put it down. But once I land on the note, I will lift the previous finger. Lift, lift, lift. Now, when I, if you play basketball or if you play on a court and you have to run backwards, we don't lift when we run backward. We actually slide when we run back, backward. So when we run or walk backward on the cello, we do what I call gentle peaks, gentle pizzicato. So on the way up, I lift and release. On the way down, I gently peaks and release. Mm -hmm. So we have lift and then we have peaks. And we are actually imitating a very basic human motion of moving around, which we do all our life. So when I go up, if I verbalize it, lift, lift, lift. Now on the way back, peaks, peaks, peaks. Now there's one more thing we do. We jump. Yeah? So you can run like this and you can jump between positions. That's it. We, we also decorate, of course. That's a vibrato. But when we move around the fingerboard, like uh, the cello spider moves, yeah? So when the spider moves up, lifting. When it moves back, pitting. But when we jump, we do two really important things. First one, when we jump, we prepare, yeah? My knees now need to prepare the jump. I don't jump like this. I prepare it and then I leave the ground. So there's preparation and there's leaving the ground, going against gravity. That's really important. So your cello knees would be your elbows. That's what does the preparation. So if you have a jump, you have to prepare it. Otherwise, you jump like yeah. not a human. And the other things that I did when I jumped, I left the ground. What is your cello ground? The fingerboard. So when you jump, you actually stay on the string, but not on the fingerboard. So you prepare and then you say goodbye to the fingerboard, but not to the string. So actually, if you think of a um, sliding on a string, yeah, when you go in nature and, and, and you do this trick with your family, and then you go and you do this pew, you go down, you actually hold the string, but you leave the ground, yeah? yeah? But when you go in the winter to the same spot, you would do a ski, you would actually do this, 
and that's a slide, that's not a jump. So sometimes we do make ski on the cello, right? When we do this, that's ski, yeah? That's ski. However, when I want to jump, that's a jump. Yes, we make slides, which is adjusting those jumps. However, those three elements, we need to work on them now because the way you are walking, running, and jumping on the cello, you would never do as a cello spider, nor as a human, because it's with straight legs, <laughs> no preparation, and you are whispering. You're doing this. You are not really lifting and beating. So in the high, then you play. I can't hear the note and you're getting tight. If I wouldn't stop you after the first page, there'll be smoke coming out and explosion in your hand. So let's work on those three elements for the left hand, which is lift, pits, and shift and jump. So I want you to do this, what we just did. I want you first to work on and to verbalize it. Lift, 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 pits. 